Every Edivon product is designed, manufactured, and quality controlled at our headquarters in Madrid, Spain, under several quality standards. In this video, we'll be discussing the Edivon EEFCR unit. The EEFCR unit is designed for the crypt testing, which is a type of destructive test. Number one, aluminum structure. The EEFCR unit is mounted on a rectangular aluminum structure in which a steel panel is supported on. Number two, steel panel. This steel panel is painted in hackboxy. Attached to this panel, there is a load arm. Number three, load arm. This is a stainless steel arm that has a hook at the end for weights to be hung. His tensile stress range is from zero to 35 newtons per millimeter square. This way will apply load to the specimen and the load arm multiplies this load. Number four, dial indicator. The unit has a dial indicator to measure the specimen elongation in a continuous way. The dial indicator measures the arm fall in relation to the horizontal. The elongation is obtained by simply trigonometric relation. Number five, temperature conditioning box. This box is attached to the steel panel. This box is made of acrylic polymethyl metriclate, which creates the appropriate conditions to perform the experiment. The specimen is placed inside this box. Practical exercises. Number one, Experimental determination of the crib limit of different plastic materials. Number two, experimental determination of cribs deformation and time relation on plastic specimens. Number three, determination of the temperature effect in the crib behavior of a plastic material. Number four, demonstration of the three phases of the crib. First, we're going to loosen the four brass nuts that the conditioning box has. So we can remove the front part of the conditioning box and place the specimen between the clamps, as well to heat up the isotherm bags to add to the adequate temperature. Place the desired specimen between the clamps. Once the specimen is located between the clamps, use a wrench to fasten the bolt at the bottom of the clamps. Remove the isotherm bags and heat them up to the adequate temperature. Place back the isotherm bags to their initial positions and place back the front part of the conditioning box. Follow it by tightening up the brass nuts as well. Use the control screw, adjust the load arm to a horizontal position, trying to get a 90 degree angle between the load arm and the steel panel. Using the Allen key provided, adjust the dial indicator. Use a wrench to adjust the ball in the back, and then turn the dial indicator to zero it out. Place hook into the load arm in order to load the desired weight. Notice how the dial indicator's needle changes his position. Dimensions and weight. Dimensions. 700 by 350 by 600 millimeters approximately. Weight 25 kilograms approximately. Included with every unit, six manuals, three-year warranty against any manufacturing defect, component control during the lifetime of the unit, full customer satisfaction.